What's up everybody, John here from Old Redding Hair. Um, <laughs> uh, so today, we got a big day. Today is our annual uh, Pumpkins for Packas event where people come and bring us their old Halloween pumpkins. Man, what is this? People come and bring us their old Halloween pumpkins and in exchange, we give them a little farm tour. So, I uh, got a couple things going on. Obviously doing the final preps for that. I'm getting ready. Giving the girls some fresh water. So, it is uh, finally, like daylight savings time is over or whatever. So like last week, so it's 7.30 right now. And last week, it would only start to get light right now. So I'd not been able to do like all of my farm chores because my work day starts at seven. So it's been tough. Um, but yeah, so right now Catherine is uh, doing some finishing touches on cleaning out the uh, chicken coop. She's adding the pine pellets in that we talked about in our last video. And um, I gotta go do some picking up around here. I'm gonna clean up over there because I think we're gonna try to have some overflow parking that way. I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. All right, so it's 10, 15. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we have eight cars in our driveway right now. It's going real well. Um, we're also collecting food uh, for the Faith Food Pantry, which, so every hat that we sell, uh, we donate one to the Faith Food Pantry. And so this year we figured like, if we're gonna have all these people here, let's also uh, see if we can do a little fun drive and collect some food for them. So we have, you know, like our craft show set up and cats down there doing the little um, alpaca monologue. And uh, I believe Joanne is showing people the chickens. So it'll be a lot of fun. We have a little hand washing station set up so people can wash their hands. Obviously after you feed the alpacas, you need to wash. But overall, it uh, seems to be going pretty well. I wish we had more time. <laughs> but we had three shows yesterday. So it was a lot to do got back late and we painted a ton of stuff to be ready for today just in case people want to buy them um so anyway we're here and uh hopefully we have a, a big day all right so it has slowed down a bit it was really busy right in the beginning but we've collected a good amount of food i'm i'm happy with what we've got so far it's very nice <clears throat> we've done pretty well selling Lots of people like the trees and the engraved trees, but also the engraved snowmen. So these are the first snowmen that I've ever done. But uh, people like them with the hat. So I think I may have to do with the hat from now on, even though it's more work. And then somebody bought a little bear that I had. Still got this guy hanging around though. And then we just have some various trees, etc. But the biggest thing is that this is the first weekend in like as long as I can remember, basically since September, where it hasn't been raining. And it didn't rain yesterday, it's not raining today. It's a beautiful day, it's fall. I mean, so it's a little bit chilly, but um, sold a bunch of hats so far, so this is great. It's a great day um, and I am very happy with how it's going so far. Catherine's doing a great job talking to the animals. I'm talking to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> introducing people to the animals. Uh, Mother-in-law is over here. She's helping out too. Love that. It's nice to have her family so close so they can help. But anyway, and they, she has fun doing it too. So we're here. Got about four more hours to go. Oh, you're filming? <clears throat> That's just my comfortable pose. Anyway, all right. So it is now after four o'clock. Pumpkins for Packers went very, very, very well. Everybody had a great time. We sold some stuff, which is always good. We had a couple people also just give us donations. Oh, that's nice. Which is I didn't also know that. very nice. Yeah. Um, it was great to see some people who we haven't seen in a while. We had a few people come and, uh, you know, say that they came last year. Now they're happy to come this year. And look at all this food. Like, this is so great. You know, and it's it's one of those things that, um, 
you know, I don't know. Uh, we like to give back. And this is the same place that we uh, donate our hats to at the end of the season. So for every one sold, we donate a hat. And it was just, seemed like kind of a no-brainer to do a food collection. And, and it was kind of funny because I think when Catherine went there to pick up the tubs, they tried to give like little shopping baskets. And so I'm glad that we have more than that. Um, and it's also really nice that our town comes out and is so generous. You know, they come out and they donate their pumpkins to us, which I'm sure a lot of people want to get rid of their pumpkins anyway without throwing them out. They bring food for people and they also come and they spend their hard-earned dollars to buy our chainsaw carvings and our hats. And you know what else is, else is nice is I think Old Reading Farm outsold sawdust and sap. Yeah! <laughs> and I know that. Oh, I, actually, that's not true. Sorry. Oh. But it, we did it yesterday, though. <laughs> yes. And so I know that that makes Catherine very happy. And it's, but it's, it's just nice to see a swing towards Old Reading Farm and the alpaca stuff selling. So that's always good. All right. So our dogs have been locked up all day. So we're going to put this food away and let them out. And maybe we'll say hi to all the dogs for the first time in a long time. Oh. Do you guys want to say hi to the dogs for the first time in forever? Pepper. Slow and steady. So these are all of our pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. It's not as many as last year. Really? Yeah. Bless you. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Yeah. That's a nice classic one. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Like the execution. Yeah. Oh, polka dots here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, warts there. Yeah. Here we got this one. That one. All right. Lovely, lovely carving, Newtown. Do you want to see if the alpacas will eat pumpkins? Sure. Pebbles is trying to get the cat. Peanut butter, can you say hi? Good girl. Don't worry everyone, I found my machete. I know you were worried about it. <laughs> that was fancy. What? That was fancy. Ooh. Who knew you could do tricks with a machete? This is what I do when I go chainsaw carving. I just go back there. Practice. <laughs> All right, so we have a pumpkin. And now I've seen videos and pictures where, like, both alpacas care a lot about pumpkins and care very little about pumpkins. So we're going to cut this up in the pasture and see if they like it. Almost dropped that pumpkin. Lulu's coming in for the first investigation. Hi, Lulu. That's it, just leaving it like that. Yeah, no sneaking up now. It's like even worse when they walk away from you because all you hear is... <laughs> 